Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and this is to show you the first step when you want to install the SDR receiver for listening to VHF UHF um, with your computer on a software defined radio. So this is what I have and this is the, what I'm going to show you is with this device actually installed. So basically you plug the first thing you need to do when you want to use this device as a VHF UHF scanner receiver, you have to plug it in first. You plug it in, but the thing is Windows will want to install its own drivers on it. You gotta let Windows do that, that job first because you need to have it at least detected and installed with Windows. Once that is done, basically, what you'll want to do next is download a driver installation and this is the website where you get it I will be posting the link to this download page if you want to install the software defined radio that you've received like I told you you can for less than 10 US dollars have a VHF UHF radio uh, all it is needed is your computer and it's called a software defined radio on this page, you have a download button. Depending on the version of Windows you have, if you have an old XP machine, you got a driver. Or if you've got Vista or later, I'm running Windows 10, works fine. You click the download here. It's going to download the file, as you see here at the bottom. You want to run this file. And so click Run. And it's going to show you this little driver install process, which is very easy to understand. What you need to do is go into Options list all devices and make sure that it's the correct device you see here it detected the Shiba web camera that's not what I want click there and search for RTL 2838 HIDIR which is the dongle basically um, to install so once you find the RTL dongle and it needs to show on the list, if you don't see it on the list, uh, make sure that it's plugged in. Make sure that you waited a few minutes for Windows to install its drivers. And all you have to do is click the install driver. Now here you notice that it says reinstall driver. Uh, that's simply because I already installed it here. So it just wants to re replace the driver. But usually you'll have installed the driver. And you click that button and it shouldn't take too long for it to say successful everything's okay driver was installed successfully one thing to make sure if it doesn't work make sure that you have um, nothing running all the software that you have in your computer is not running um, I would even say if you have problems disable your antivirus for a few minutes while you're installing the driver and um, if it doesn't work, restart your computer. Make sure it's from scratch. You haven't done nothing with it yet. Usually it's very easy and installs flawlessly. And um, make sure if it doesn't work, you can right click on the downloaded file and run it as an administrator to make sure that it has all rights if you know everything fails. But usually it should be easy and install correctly. Once it says it's successful, you're ready to go. All you need is the next step that I'll post another video downloading SDR Sharp or HD SDR I'll be uh, showing both in using your dongle with these um, software if you enjoy my videos why not subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when new videos are online we'll have tons of videos and live shows on this VHF UHF channel so I hope you guys and girls enjoy what you see if you've got comments or questions, don't hesitate. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. Thank you so much for following us.